My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Bright in the Edge. This morning I'm out along the South San Am River. I've got my Pintax 645 in, a roll of Elford Delta 100, and I'll be shooting that at 50. Now I'm not sure if this video will be done in a day. It might take longer. It might take longer to fill this roll of film. It's a beautiful autumn morning here in Oregon. No clouds in the sky, a little bit of a bummer. I really like how the rock is etched and smoothed and shaped by water over time. This area will be underwater here in a few weeks, and most of the year this is underwater. But at certain times of year, the river gets low, and then this area gets to kind of sit up above the water for a while. I'm also amazed at how these uh, plants seem to make a living here, just uh, latching onto a, a crack in the rock. I love the, the, uh, the play of uh, rock and uh, vegetation here in this area. It's pretty cool. I have a feeling the light's gonna be a little harsh for us here in a little bit. I haven't even found a shot yet. We'll keep looking. There's, there's just too much here. I, I'm having a hard time narrowing in on something. This is one of those areas that's close to my house, actually. Now that I'm, we're living where I live, this is um, an area I've come to before a few different times. It's been a couple years since I've been here. But this area is, is uh, 15 minutes from my house. Now this is what I would call the obvious shot. Just kind of shooting up the stream here. Trying to get some of these textured rocks in the foreground. I really do like how it kind of cuts through these rocks and how they're all kind of cut and shaped by the water. But it is kind of an obvious shot. For some reason, it's it's harder. I'm having a hard time than than it should. I think it shouldn't be this hard. Part of it might be just the spotty light. It's uh, just pretty harsh, so. We might uh, give it a try later in the week. There's supposed to be some clouds in the next couple of days. Kind of diffuse things a little bit. I think this location might benefit from that. So I'm going to try to find some compositions that will uh, benefit from the uh, harder light. I shot this with a 45 millimeter at f22. I might try one at f16. F22 looks pretty good on this lens. Um, diffraction doesn't seem to be the big of an issue with it. My primes, I only use primes. And it doesn't seem like the fraction really affects them that much, or at least not enough that for me to worry about. A little sharpening in when I process the image is, seems to bring everything right back to where it should be. Yeah, you can see the hill behind me there. It's just too bright. I'm in a deep shadow here, deep shade. So this shot might not even work because I'm I'm gonna have to really burn in the background quite a bit when I, uh, when I after I scan this image. I'm only gonna shoot one frame of this. I decided right now. It's that first frame. Gotta get it, get it in the bag. You know, takes the pressure off. I'll find some more now.
this boulder, for some reason, has caught my attention. <laughs> Probably because there's, it's so smooth around it, there's not a lot. So it kind of stands out. It seems like there's a natural contrast there with the moss and then the rocks that don't have anything on them. I don't know, maybe too simple for a photograph. Maybe I'll try to get a composition with it. Well, I did find a composition I think I like. I'm starting with this little curved foreground detail. The angle of the light's really making that stand out really nice and kind of putting a line to the boulder here. And I'm using these three boulders in the, together. The main, the main boulder here is kind of the, the main subject. And then there's two other ones that kind of zigzag to, to the back through the background. Uh, it's kind of simple, but I, I think I kind of like it. Well, we'll see more when I uh, after I get it developed and scanned. This is a, a good example of taking what nature gives you. You know, the light's kind of harsh, but in this Im image, it's actually kind of working for me. It's giving me uh, some nice definition nice texture in the, in the in the rock because the sun angle is kind of low and it's throwing these nice shadows off the boulders too so that's kind of cool well I'm doing my best today to try to take what nature gives me I don't like working in this kind of light it uh, it goes against <laughs> what I normally look for. And I'm not really sure why that is. Well, I'm pretty sure. It's so, for so many years, I, would, I was shooting transparency film, which has very little dynamic range. And this kind of lighting is just terrible on uh, transparency film. The, the, you're going to lose the highlights or you're going to lose the shadows. But with negative film, the, especially the black and white negative film I'm using I, has a lot more latitude so I really should be kind of uh, willing to expand my horizons a little bit so that's what we're doing today I, I'm, gonna, I'm expanding my horizons I'm looking for stuff in light that I normally don't like to photograph this is light I just don't like to try to make images in I always find it frustrating in the past but I'm not shooting slide film so Maybe, uh, maybe this the contrast will actually be a, a bonus for creativity. I'm kind of waiting for the light. I, I'm kind of wanting a little more light to hit this foreground, this little round hole <laughs> in the foreground. And then I like how the trees are reflecting in the water through this channel, and it goes up to the trees. Just fingers crossed that we can just get a little bit more in here so there's not so much difference between the foreground and the background and hopefully the wind will stay calm so we can get a decent reflection of the trees in the background feels good to be out in the out in the uh, wild again <laughs> I'm looking forward to finishing out the year strong with some photography I feel like uh, circumstances have shut down my creativity kept me out of the woods and I think it's time to start pushing forward whether if I get something good or not it's not that important important is that I'm out doing it out getting the shots out being creative the uh, the good stuff will come but you just got to be out there to, to get the good stuff well I think it's time to get back to producing zines I don't know if you know this, a lot of you probably do. I have a couple zines on my website that, uh, they're, you know, they're fairly basic, but uh, they, they highlight my black and white photography. My zine's called Seeing Monochrome. It's just something that I keep going. And lately I've been feeling the desire to not overthink so much the zine, just get stuff in print that I like. So I'm in the process of working on a couple other projects. I think it's those personal projects that really, uh, it's a fast way to getting back into uh, feeling creative again. But if you want to see the zines I have, 
<laughs> if you're interested in seeing the zines that I have available right now, you can go to my website at ridingyesphotography.com and there's links on there. You can pre preview it, which is actually all I really care about. I, I would like people to see the at least the previews. If you want to have one to, to look in person, to thumb through it, that's always kind of nice. But if you want to preview it for free, go to my website and click on the preview link and check them out. I, I love people to see my uh, photography. And if you want to help this channel, you can pick one up. Some of that content is from film, a lot of it, and uh, also from digital, digital cameras. Really can't tell that much difference in on the printed page at those sizes. But uh, I really enjoy just kind of looking at the images in print. And the zine is kind of nice because I can I can kind of have like mini uh, like a mini gallery, a mini ex exhibition. I can show people some bodies of work in a really nice clean package. It might happen here. Might get a nice little shaft across that foreground detail. That would be so cool. I've shot a couple frames here already. I'll, I might do one more um, if, if the conditions make me want to do it. So this roll may not have a whole lot of variety on it. Well, this one's kind of a weird composition. <laughs> really just shooting an area it's a bit chaotic sometimes I like the chaos I like a little bit of a chaotic shot some interesting reflections in the pool here the rocks and then the the, uh, the vegetation stair stepping up the lines going across it's there's a lot going on in this image I'm not sure how it's gonna work but when you get a gut feeling about something you know it's it's good to just make the shot you know take the shot and worry about later I just uh, like the, the dark area behind the vegetation that makes the vegetation that's being hit by the light kind of stand out more I don't know <laughs> I'm doing a lot of that kind of shooting today where it's I uh, I'm not really sure and I won't know until I actually like get it scanned and kind of look at it and think hmm what was I thinking or hmm I'm brilliant <laughs> it's probably more of the uh, what was I thinking I think I'm gonna end today's video right here. I'm kind of running out of energy, a little fatigued. I think I just need some lunch. It's getting kind of warm and the light's pretty hard. So hopefully I've got a shot or two to show you from today. It's been a nice early autumn outing. Looking forward to more of these trips. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.